house. It is time for the second set of Corona decks, a hyper deck, spiral decks, uh, artist circle videos. <laughs> if you missed the first set of videos, um, Romany of Romany's Realm and Miss Vicky B and I all posted videos about the Corona decks or the Corona decks like. Um, thing that we're using to track our time on the 14th of August and then today all three of us are posting our second set of videos. Um, in this one I will show you how I am coloring it in. I'm not using the Chronodex just because I didn't need the multitasking. I've The kids are back in school but Liam is still at home so <clears throat> I'm kind of always multitasking so I didn't, I didn't want to have too many layers of color going at the same time. Um, I'm using it just to track my time, where my time went. And I'll show you, in the other video it was still summer break, so it was kind of hard to show you. Um, but now that I've got a good couple days in my daily planner of what the daily schedule looks like, I'll be able to better show you why I don't use Chronodex to forward plan. Forward planning, I need it to be linear, like I said in my last video. But if I don't have some kind of somewhat structured format to do kind of a quick daily review at the end of the day, first of all, my days all run together and I honestly don't know what I did. That's my brain. Secondly, I, I won't do a daily review if I don't have some kind of structured format for it. So, <clears throat> I'm going to flip the camera around and I will show you how it's been going. Some of them are a little emptier than others. Um, most of the empty spots are all stuff with the boys. It's all family stuff. So when you see ones that are kind of empty, it's just because I didn't feel like coloring the whole stinking thing in blue. I know if there's not a whole lot in there that's that's going on as far as color, it was a day spent with the boys. So, you know, running or going to do something, whatever the case may be. <clears throat> Pardon me. So I'm kind of keeping an eye on the grill. I have, I have food on the grill. <laughs> trying to make sure it doesn't go up in flames. So, um, so I'm going to flip the camera around and you guys take a look at this. Um, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, um, by all means let us know and go check out Romani's video and Miss Vicky B's video for today as well. Okay? Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Alright guys, so here is the reason for the daily review. School started Monday. Now, I could track my time on these pages if this stuff wasn't going on so much, okay? But, so let me show you one of those actually. So like on this one, I was, because school hadn't started yet, and it was a Sunday, it was a weekend anyway, we only had one scheduled thing this day. I took two of the boys to get haircuts. Otherwise, I had no appointments written over here. So, in the morning, I, the only thing written on here was that, and I had all this space to work with. So I went ahead and filled in what I did with my time on these days, like the last few days of summer break, I wrote it in over here, okay? And then I could transfer it to um, my daily review if I wanted to. Um, wasn't totally necessary with these couple of days because I had the space. But as of Monday, I went from having maybe one appointment or like very few things that I had to drive anybody to to this. Anything that's blue is all the boys stuff. Okay, anything that's orange is house stuff or running errands and anything that's red is Mike's. So before Mike leaves for most of September, I wanted to get back into the habit of having the school schedule, you know, my driving schedule, that kind of stuff all in here um, so that I've kind of got a grip on things as much as I can, at least mentally, before September hits. So what I would do is I'd sit down, let's look at yesterday, I would sit down to do my daily review. And like I said before, it seriously takes me five minutes, but I did it a little early last night. I had put food on the grill and that was why I had recorded the intro for this at the time. And I almost missed recording that intro because I was all caught up in all of this. I needed to check with Hunter, um, his band book from last year. Are they starting this year with the same book or do I need to order his next one yet? Is he using his stand from last year because I was under the impression they're getting 
different ones that are going to hold up a little better and I wanted to make sure that that was what I was supposed to do. So I have all of this going on down here for Hunter. All of this is for the boys. Clayton needed me to place a jet pens order. We had a quick schedule change at the last second yesterday and which Mike covered so that didn't disrupt anything but for about 10 minutes it made my brain go into spasms because I thought for the first time I had forgotten that I was supposed to pick somebody up. In almost 18 years I have never done that. I have never left a kid anywhere. I'm gonna go knock on some wood, hang on. Okay, <laughs> I've never forgotten a kid anywhere and I've never forgotten to pick a kid up. And I thought I did yesterday, but I didn't. Mike and I had a little miscommunication and he, uh, he went and took care of it because uh, he was supposed to, so. But when I sat down right before I started making supper, I realized that because of all of this stuff that had been going on, I missed this. And I wanted to at least get the intro for this video recorded yesterday and I almost missed it. Now, if it had been, let's say the end of the day, you know, 11 30 12 o'clock at night and I was looking at all of this I honestly might have missed that I didn't have that marked off if I didn't have something to focus on like this so I can sit down at the end of the day and look at this and think okay did I read anything today oh yeah I read that that was pretty cool Oh, what did I do for the blog and for the YouTube channel today? Did I do any writing today? Did I do any journaling today? What running of the boys or what activities of the boys did I go to today? Um, what projects did I work on? What did I get done in classes? I, I would have missed that. I would have gotten to blog and YouTube and gone, Oh, did I do anything for the blog or YouTube? Okay. <gasps> oh, didn't record that intro. Need to make sure I do it tomorrow. And that would remind me to write it in on today's. Okay, so that's the purpose of this is like I said before, help me drill down through all of this stuff that is mine to do, but it's not my personal stuff, if that makes any sense. Okay, and yes, it's color coded, so maybe I would have caught that, but a lot of times by 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night, I'm either hitting my third wind or I'm completely exhausted. If I'm completely exhausted, I miss stuff all the time and I'm tired of missing stuff hence this, okay? If I've hit my third wind by 11.30 or 12 o'clock at night, my brain is in overdrive. It's going a million miles an hour. That is why I have a brain dump notebook because I will not go to sleep until I just get it all out of my head and kind of push myself out of my third wind so I can go to sleep. <clears throat> so now that you have seen that, let me move this over a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Here is what this has been looking like. Now, like I said in the intro, when there are days that don't have a whole lot on them, it's it's a day I spent with the kids. Um, these are the same thing, but what I was doing, I showed you in the other video, I was printing out this page, um, and I'll put the link down below, and I don't think I did that in the other video. I need to go back and change that. This is the first page of DIY Fish's Life Mapping Mobile Inserts. And then this is the um, the Artist Circle from Kate Smith's website, and I'll, again, link that down below like I did last time. And I was printing these out. I put, like, 20 of them in a Word document, trimmed them all, glued them onto this page. Romany, because she's so freaking brilliant, figured out a way for them to all print on one page. So I don't have to print separately, I don't have to trim, I don't have to glue, it fits nicely. I still have room in both of these, sorry the phone's going off, I still have room in both of these um, to write what I need. I abbreviate like everything, so I have plenty of room in these too. And now I don't have to do all that, you know, separate printing and cutting and gluing and all that stuff. So they're the same thing, okay? Just less work to put it together. So thank you, Romany. So here is what, you guys had seen some of this. This is what this has been looking like. Okay, so I have, I know before in the last video I was going back and forth. Do I want to put the orange stuff in or not? Orange is housework, cooking, errands, that kind of thing. I have been putting that in just because that is a portion of where my time is going. Um, you know, any time I spend on social media. So my my color coding, just, just to kind of go over it one more time, um, anything that's brown is just my stuff. Anything I read, any journaling I did, any writing I did um, that wasn't necessarily for the blog, 
um, any time I spent like knitting, anything like that that's just personal, personal stuff is brown. Pink is all blog, YouTube, and social media. Purple is all projects that I am working on with other people or for other people. Blue is anything to do with any of the boys. Red is Mike's stuff. Um, and green is money stuff in my daily planner, which doesn't, it's like, um, like in here, like this is the list of band stuff I need to get for Hunter. So I wrote his name in blue, obviously boys, but I put all the money stuff in green because that's what his band stuff is going to cost this year. Okay. So there's no difference really. These pages are bigger. I was, because of what Romany did, I was able to, um, to blow them up you know, bigger. It's field note size. These are passport size. You can see where the the marks are to trim them off. Okay, but otherwise I'm using it exactly the same way. All right, so these are just the ones that were from the booklet that I had some in that I had pasted in. So I'm going to put these back. Just wanted to make sure if you noticed a difference that you'd see there wasn't a really big significant difference. And here's what it's been looking like the last few days. Okay, so really putting in more of, of all of my time during the day. Um, so the orange stuff is all errands and housework and things like that. Okay, like here's one that wasn't too filled in. That's because I spent almost the whole day with Mike and Liam, so I just didn't mark it in. I did write it in down here, but... Um, there is a little bit of green. We had insurance paperwork that needed to be done and sent in. So for your insurance, that's money. So that one I did mark in green and mark that I had finished it. Okay, this was still during summer break. So any any researching I did, um, where I had put, I had found a really cool writing mind map. So I put in where I had printed that out and put it in one of my notebooks. And I wanted to make sure I remembered where I put it. So it's right there. So it's, it's, that's another good reason to do this. You see, if I have this, and I, I, mean, I probably did write this in on my daily page. I found this, oh goodness, it was pretty late at night. It was almost midnight. And if I had, and I know I wrote this in on the daily page on that day, but it's also amongst like 80 other things. So if I hadn't written it in here, I wouldn't have, remembered it to be really honest with you I would have printed it out stuck it in the notebook and what happened was I did that went through all of Wednesday and then when I went to fill in this on Wednesday evening that caught my eye and I was like oh my gosh I forgot I did that I would not have remembered about that until I opened that notebook and saw that thing printed out. And I wanted to spend like five minutes kind of really, really looking at that and taking it in. But by midnight this night, my brain was fried. So it wasn't going to happen then. I didn't want to forget. So I printed it out. Rather than printing it out and just leaving it on my desk so I'd see it first thing in the morning and remember, I stuck it into my notebook. And I would not have seen it probably for a good two or three days minimum if I because this was right before school started so all the running and the last minute stuff for school supplies and whatnot was going on I would have forgotten out about maybe up to a week and I really wanted to take a couple minutes and look at it so because I had it written there in my daily review when I went to do the next day that caught my eye and I remembered it okay so that is here's when I had a flat tire that was real fun two days so here's the very tail end of summer break and then here is what the last two days have looked like okay so let me walk you through it and then I think I'll color one in so you can see how this one works it's it's actually very simple um, so this was Monday the first day of school okay so here is what Monday looked like in the daily pages this is Monday okay all blog YouTube social media project notes that had to do with those things only not project notes projects for other people or my own personal project notes just stuff that had to do with the before and after shots uh, recording a video editing a video all that good stuff okay and then this was all forward planning stuff and then the schedule for the day okay so that's what it looks like in my daily planner looking ahead this is what I had decided on Sunday night that I wanted to get done on Monday okay and as you can see I, I put these on here not because I wanted to remember that I needed to start them but because I wanted to finish this stuff and the ones that are checked off got finished on Monday the ones with a little dot in the middle of the box I started but I didn't get to finish so 
I overscheduled myself on Monday during the day. I think I got excited that it was the first day of school. <laughs> so these didn't all get done even though I wanted to. I don't put it on that day unless I want it done on that day. If there's something I definitely want to do on a specific day, I put that task right on that day. Okay? So they're not really in any particular order. I, this one I really, really, really wanted to get done on Monday, so I did write it in first. And it's not that the project notes were of any less importance, but I try to stick to a schedule with posting the before and after shots. And I was doing that on the weekends. The weekend got all eaten up. So I needed to make sure I got it done on Monday so it was done. So here is where I'm overscheduling myself. I have a very bad habit of doing that on a Monday. Um, I will, especially if we've had a lot going on over the weekend, I'll take a look at like Friday, maybe even Thursday from the week before. And when I'm setting up the upcoming week, usually on Sunday, I invariably will overschedule Monday. And I'm trying to break that habit because things get lost that way. I lose tasks. So as I did my daily review, you know, as I did a little bit of this prepping this video, I threw a dot in the box. As I peeked at these project notes, I threw a dot in the box. But I needed to make sure I finished that stuff between yesterday and today. Okay? So when I did my daily review of this day, that's this one right here. I was like, okay, did I get any reading done? I know I didn't. Did I get any writing done? I know I didn't. Did I get any journaling done? I know I didn't. This is where I start to feel like, what in the heck did I do all day? Well, I worked on my September setup, my, my DIY Fish version 2.2 Midori Traveler's Notebook inserts. I had printed out September. Um, I recorded the, um, the printing and the trimming, how I assemble these. I had recorded that, so then I wanted to start filling it in. So anything that's in brown here was time that I spent working on the September setup. Anything that is in pink was I had Instagram and Facebook questions to answer, that social media. I finished recording and editing that version 2.2 assembly video. So that's all this stuff here in pink. Let's see if I can move it up a little bit. There we go. So here, the other thing I changed was I started using colored pencils. This is all in pen. Um, I treated myself to a box of colored pencils oh, when, uh, when I did the school shopping. So, um, Anything in blue was driving that I did. So when I sat down Monday night and looked at this, I was like, okay, what did I do? Well, first day of school, I started getting kids up and dropped Jack off at school. So from 5.30 when I got up, I made sure that like his snack was ready, you know, I made coffee, all that stuff. Oh, wrong one, haha. -ha. The inner ring is AM, okay? See, I, I did it again, I keep doing this. This inner ring is AM, this outer ring is PM. I leave the little ring in the middle empty to delineate between the two. So on Monday, from six until 6.30 is when I was answering Instagram and Facebook questions, okay? That's why that's pink. And then 6.30 until eight, I was making sure everybody was getting ready to school. I ran Jack to school, all that good stuff. <clears throat> from eight until noon, I did have Liam here. So I was, you know, I finished recording that um, version 2.2 assembly video, played with Liam for a little while, got him set doing something, started editing that. So I put it here, played with Liam for a little while, you know, um, got him some lunch, um, got him sat down at the table, finished editing that video. Okay, and then it's noon. Well, from noon to one, while he was kind of finishing his lunch and um, coloring a little bit, I worked on the September setup. From one to two, I, what did I do from one to two? Oh, one to two, I was just cleaning up the kitchen and whatnot because it was going to be time to go pick up Jack and then go pick up Dakota. So from two until 3.15, I was picking up Jack and picking up Dakota. And then I needed to... Um, get some running done, just some errands. So from 3.15 until about 5.30, um, we ran to the grocery store. I got back in time when a couple of the other kids got off their bus because some of them are on a bus home. And then from 5.30 until 6.15, I drove Dakota to work. Part of this was supper prep. 6.15, the rest of us ate supper. Um, we cleaned up the kitchen. I did some laundry. 
from 8.30 until 9.30, I was gone to pick Dakota up from work, okay? And then um, I hadn't driven across town to go to Target earlier in the day when I was running errands over here, so we did that over here. We went into Target, or Dakota went into Target for me, um, brought him home, and then from 10 to 12, I was um, finishing up some laundry, um, setting up stuff for the next morning for the school morning jack snack and all that good stuff okay so that is how i'm using this now if i look at this i honestly don't see that in my head when i'm reviewing my day i get very bogged down in everybody else's stuff so that was the point of doing this yesterday here's yesterday and you know what i'm going to do i'm actually going to color one in for yesterday Maybe that'll better illustrate how that works. So here's what yesterday looked like in the daily planner. Okay, so this day. And let's do one. So open up the crayons, the colored pencils. I don't know if I'll keep using the colored pencils. I don't know, I've been enjoying it the last couple of days, so I might do that. I had one that my green one broke off in there really badly. So here's what, it's just an empty one, okay? This is how they print out for me. So I get, if this was a full eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, I get two down there, two up here, okay? I cut the paper in half, fold each of these in half, and then I put them all together in a booklet and I trim this off. The exact same way I showed you in that assembling the um, MTN version 2.2 inserts from DIY Fish, same exact folding, assembling, and trimming um, is the way I do this, okay? So there is an empty one. So yesterday, from 6 until 8.30, I was up, made coffee, started making sure people were getting up and getting in the shower, that kind of thing. So here is, it's a little windy, here's 6, here's 8.30. So from 6 to 8.30 was all about the boys because it was a school morning. So made sure everybody ate, made sure everybody got showered, made sure everybody had what they needed, made sure Jack got dropped off at school, all that good stuff. So that's 6 to 8.30. And then from 8.30 until 9, I was doing social media stuff, which generally would be pink. There's not a pink colored pencil in this box, and usually red is Mike's stuff. So there's a little bit of a difference between these two. This one's very red, and my pens for Mike are very red. So I went with this kind of, it's kind of a reddish orange for, in lieu of pink. But if I color light enough with it, it really doesn't matter. So there was social media stuff, um, answering questions, stuff like that. And then I do bedding every day, just one in each room if the kids haven't. So from 9 until 11, I was doing laundry and bedding. And now bear in mind, I've got Liam this whole time too. So I'm not doing all of this stuff. I didn't spend two hours standing in the laundry room. Don't get me wrong. Um, but, you know, it kind of, he helps and, you know, you stop and play with him for a little while. And, and then from 11 to 12, I posted that video that I've been talking about, that assembling the Midori Traveler's Notebook inserts video. So that's what I did from 11 to 12, so that is pink. Now, here's where I tend to screw up. I'll keep going one o'clock, two o'clock. That's a.m., okay? I was sleeping during this time, thank goodness. So here's where you switch out to the outer ring, okay? So from noon to one, I finished up my September monthly setup and real quick checked into um, an online class I'm taking for journaling with Romani um, to see if I had missed anything. So that was from noon to one while Liam was eating lunch, um, sitting next to me at the table. And then when we got done doing that, from one until about 2.30, from one to two, I was just playing with Liam. We came outside and played around for an hour and then it was time to leave to pick up Jack and Dakota. And that takes until about 2.33 o'clock to get them both. So that's to about there. Okay, you see how that's going so far? I wish I could set this up so it was closer to this. I don't really have a way to do it. I was fiddling with it and it wasn't working out. Okay, so I picked up Jack and Dakota and then I started running errands. 
So I ran to the bank, I ran to the grocery store, and then I came back home. And I got back home, oh, it was about four-ish. It was a little before four o'clock, but so that was running errands, okay? And then I hung out with the kids and made supper and talked about their day and asked Clayton what he might need help with with his math homework. And then from 6 to 7, we all just kind of hung out and goofed around for a while. And then I had to remember that there was certain laundry that had to be done. Hunter has to wear a uniform to school, and I wanted to make sure I had his next set of uniform stuff for the next couple days ready. So for about an hour here, I was finishing up the laundry, um, prepping stuff for the next morning school stuff, Jack's snack and breakfast stuff and whatnot, making sure Hunter had uniforms. And then from 8 to 10, Liam's been a little bit of a night owl lately. He's been taking a really late nap, so he was up till 10 o'clock last night. So from 8 to 10, I was helping Clayton with his pre-calc homework and, you know, playing with Liam, picking up, goofing around with the kids, that kind of thing. And then, because Liam still wasn't asleep by 10 o'clock, I laid down with him so that he would go to sleep. <laughs> So that is how you color this in. It's really nothing difficult. The biggest hang up I keep getting is I start at the right spot in the morning and I get to noon and I keep right on going around that inner circle. And at noon, you need to flip up to the top circle because that is your PM. So not a whole lot of pink going on here. Yesterday was a lot of housework and, you know, spending time with the boys and playing with Liam. And I kind of expected that it's the first week of school, um, first night that anybody really had homework. So you know, it'll be a little bit of a switch here. And then what I would do after filling this in, I would generally do it at the same time, but in these I do write in pen, and I didn't bring my pens out with me, but I have one. So, like, from noon to one, I had, you know, checked into Romani's class, um, saw there was some reading to do, so I printed out what I wanted to print out, I read what I wanted to read. So here I would just put you know, check WFS, what is about, and then that I had saved something in Evernote. Okay, so that's brown, that's brown. I know that's how long I spent doing that. Um, I also finished my September monthly setup. Okay, so from noon to one, that's what I did. They're all in brown, so I know that's what that is. Okay, any running that I did with the boys would be in blue, that would go over here. So it would have been like pick up Jack and Dakota, um, maybe what I had helped Clayton with, with his homework, because um, <clears throat> I kind of try to stay ahead of the game in that. And then orange was a lot of bedding, so I would put that down here in orange. And then I had posted a video yesterday morning, that's what this chunk was, so I would put that up here under blog and YouTube. I didn't fill in the other ones because I don't have that pen out here with me that has the right colors in it. Um, post, version 2.2 assembly, and that's it. That's how long it takes to do it. A little bit shorter than that, obviously, because I talk too much, but this has really been helping a lot. It, like, I can look at this and see, okay, there's, like, hardly any pink or purple there's no purple at all there's you know a little bit here and there oh and you know there is one thing in here I didn't mark out while I was making supper this is a good example of this between five and six while I was making supper I had food on the grill you guys saw that in the intro to this and I recorded the intro to this video so if I want to mark multitasking I have orange already marked in I can either take my purple pen and just kind of hash mark over it like that so I can see there's orange and purple there I can do the same with the purple colored pencil okay so there is that and that is something that Romani and Miss Vicki B and I are all doing together so that would go down here since we're all doing it together um, recorded chronovid number two intro okay and that is how that is looking. So I can see that there are days that are very heavy with blue or very heavy with orange. That's a day I spent running a lot of errands, time with the boys, and cleaning. And then that helps me to realize that's why there isn't a whole lot of pink or brown or purple on here. Because, you know, I snuck it in here and there when I could. 
okay? That is pretty much it, you guys. That's how I've been using this. If you guys are using anything at all similar to it, whether it's to forward plan or to track your time, let us know, okay? I would be interested to see um, how everybody's doing that. Um, the, the biggest thing is, like I said, the, the finding some balance, especially with September coming um, and the chaos that that's going to bring. And so that I can see when I'm doing stuff like this, when I am over scheduling, I always do it on a Monday and I, I've been trying forever to break this habit and everything I've tried isn't working. So I'm going to try the, the time tracking and see if that helps me break this habit of over scheduling. Because if I don't forget to move those tasks ahead, if, if I don't remember to move them ahead, they don't get done. They get lost in the cracks. And I did that last week. I, I share the before shots and the after shots on certain days. I share the comparison shots between those two on certain days. And last week, I completely forgot to post the before shots. I almost always post them on Wednesday. Saturday, I remembered. I had written it down, but it got lost in the shuffle of everything else. And I forgot to move it forward. I'm having an easier time moving things forward with these pages than I was with my day on two pages. Because I'm not... Um, because this would normally be a full day spread. And sometimes when I went to set the next day up, looking at this, the flipping back and forth, I would forget. So I I do know that I'm, I'm still having a hard time remembering to move things forward from here to here in the page flip. But on the days that are together, I'm doing a lot better. But like I said, I would not have caught that. I caught that when I sat down that night to do the review for that day. I would not have remembered that I had printed out the um, that PDF that I wanted to keep track of, that mind map. I would not have remembered this mind map and where I had put it if that hadn't caught my eye when I was doing the review the next day. So that's where this is really helping me stop over scheduling myself and to catch things that fall through the cracks. So if you guys have any other systems for that, for, you know, kind of breaking a habit or, you know, not over scheduling yourself, tracking your time, things like that, share it with us. Um, you all have fantastic ideas all the time. So I would love to hear, okay? You guys have a fantastic afternoon and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.